this is Europe and this is Estonia. You might notice that Estonia isn't on the map in 1836. Estonia has been conquered, pillaged and occupied by bigger neighboring powers since the Livonian Crusade in 1198. It only gained its independence in the early 20th century and then lost it again for 50 years. But today we are going to create an alternate reality where Estonia got its independence 80 years earlier. Alright, so we're gonna do it like this. Now I have to play as Russia and we're doing this on Iron Man. So I'm gonna play as Russia. We're going to diplomacy. Release Estonia as independent. Uh, also, I'm gonna release Latvia and Lithuania as puppets, so it looks a bit better. Yeah, the reason why I have to release Estonia as independent is there's uh, no way I could actually get myself free later on because Estonia is just such a small country that uh, the AI will never accept it and you can't actually start a war over your independence and you can't ask for help from any other country as well uh, unless it's a diplomatic play yeah there's no diplomatic play if you want to become free and you're just stuck as a puppet so we have to do it like this we have to release as independent nation and yeah we're starting as Estonia first off let's just get rid of the military we don't need it right now now I've done a uh, few test runs both were quite unsuccessful, stayed as a puppet under the Russians. The second, Sweden made me a protectorate so I could join his customs union. Both had their pluses and minuses. Being a puppet of Russia meant that I was giving Russia a lot of money. And being a puppet of Sweden meant that I couldn't get to a minor power because I was a uh, protectorate. So, but we need to get to a minor power so we can make colonies. I'm thinking making a colony in South America for, for uh, first because it did, South America doesn't have malaria. Uh, first off, we're gonna build two logging camps. Then we are going to build a construction site, textile mills, beast attacks, tax liquor. See how little we gain from everything. It's a very, very, very hard start. Tax wine and luxury furniture. Rest of the authority, we're gonna use on edicts. Let's take factoring. I know I don't have any manufacturers just yet, but it's for later. Greener grass campaign, that's going to give us 50% migration attraction. Maintenance, promote social mobility and emergency relief. That gives us welfare payments. It's going to increase our uh, immigration a little bit. So we are going to go rush for first level of uh, mechanized workshops. Politics, let's go for uh, dedicated police. Increase relations with Russia, Sweden, let's do Finland as well. We are. 95th in the world right now. We have 180k GDP. Ooh, that's kind of small. Yikes. Which isn't a lot at all. 600k population. Most of it, let's make it a pie chart. Uh, most of it uh, is Estonian. We have a bit of Russian minority and Germans. You should calm down before it reaches 100%. Alright, yeah, it, it stopped. So it's fine for now. Oh, damn for low taxes for now. We are at our max of 43k gold reserves only. Damn it. Ah, uh, not, not ideal. All right. This is actually the closest I've come to a civil war as Estonia yet. Add this to the top of the queue. Getting really unlucky with these laws. Come on. Yes. That was nice. All right, next up, let's uh, try to get a professional army. I, 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 honestly, if I wanted to min-max this, I would switch from manufacturing to resource industry for now. Uh, <laughs> the ruler folk are still pretty pissed. Uh, one other thing we need to be doing is constantly checking if anybody wants to uh, invite us to their customs union. It will accept it when we get enough GDP. So uh, right now we just don't have enough. Okay, uh, let's just cancel this for now and abolish of them. This is a pretty handy cheat sheet. You can see what uh, pe the people want, what laws you can easily get through. Yeah, Russia is the closest that we are right now to getting into a customs union. You can get uh, a lot of immigrants from the customs union you're in. So uh, Russia has quite a big of a population compared to Germany and Sweden. So I think it's a bit better to uh, join Russia's customs union than Sweden's or uh, Russia's. All right, I uh, jumped the gun with the uh, textile manufacturer. It's gonna cost me a lot of money to import goods and already really close to using our uh, 
reserves actually uh, stop uh, suppressing them and let's get our uh, thingies back oh starting viewers credit now the thing is why i don't want to go into debt is interest is kind of going to start to pile up expenses aren't that high at this moment uh, i got only 700 uh, fucking ducats from uh, five consumption taxes uh we are really poor but our standard of living is going up 150th in the world getting any tariffs from clothes oh we are actually from exports oh we're earning money now just need a few more uh, manufacturers maybe even if we get the uh, new tech for a uh, textile mill maybe that will uh, change it over oh we're earning 1k damn have we entered the customs union now ah close <laughs> How much how much interest did we have not a lot <laughs> only like 200 interest okay, i'm gonna re remove a few consumption taxes i'm gonna start bolstering the intelligentsia yeah. uh is there any laws i can do in the meantime uh yeah, let's do religious schools i also added a few mods to the playlist mainly and builds uh, ai mod improves the ai tenfold basically the ai know how to actually manage their economy with the mod and um, best war ai as well so that improves the ai for uh, the warfare system as well so the ai should be a lot more competitive now so uh, let's let's see later on if we can start conquering territory oh <gasps> yes we can join the customs union all right now it's now it's on all right need to increase our migration so uh need to uh, provide basic goods for the people like uh services and stuff like that oh but we are getting migration our attraction is high now next up let's get the atmospheric engine let's go for railways next let's go for sewing machines as well <laughs> we look at the fucking gdp just got went up with that what the fuck are you talking about i don't know skyrocketing gdp 63rd worldwide I'm gonna go for one more level of this. Then let's go for steelworks. Then for uh, motor industries. Then for a railway. I don't have motor industries unlocked. I uh, need the atmospheric engine before that. Let's go for luxury furniture. Furniture manufacturing. Uh, they don't have any tools stamp. All right, let's see the Russian economy. Actually, you see they are actually uh, using economy of scale. Unlike the regular AI that just doesn't build factories in the same state at all so it's like 10 different factories in each state which are all like lower than level 5 let's look at maybe paris Le level 10 paper mills everything's somewhat centralized but yeah the thing why we need to be in a customs union is we don't have any raw resources in estonia we only have wood we need steel coal and sulfur so that's why we are going for south america we have sulfur we have coal but sadly they don't have steel so we are gonna have to get that from uh oh nice the Moroccans have steel and they i usually don't colonize there rank is 84th we need more prestige that's the main thing that's holding us this low i try to go for uh iron frame buildings oh wow that increased the cost a lot Russia should invest more in uh, iron. Right, 16 weeks. If you go back to wood, how long is it going to take? 22 weeks. Okay. <laughs> they still have crude tools. Could make a few iron mines, Russia. There's a perfect spot here. Add a few levels of iron mines. Get us, get us some iron. We have a bit of migration. Okay, let's go for an uh, iron frame. It's going to increase the uh, speed of building by a lot. Actually, I'm gonna bump the university and the furniture up a bit. Actually, yeah, let's go for landed voting. That's gonna give uh, legitimacy for uh, for the intelligentsia, yeah, I believe. Uh, another thing we need to do is we need to get to multiculturalism. This is gonna boost the uh, immigration by like, it's gonna get it to up to 100k per week. So that's gonna be really good if we get that. We also need to increase our standard of living a lot by a lot as well. Our attraction is pretty high, but it can be a lot higher. That's what she said. Uh -oh. And uh, I think we are going to start going for uh, democracy. I think I have to switch back to uh, wood frame buildings. Russia isn't producing enough iron or wood. 
And they're at war as well. That's nice. Uh, actually, even they're at war, I get more migration. So that's good, actually, if we're at war. Wait, so, no, this is this is 28k a year. And this is the breakdown, how many we're getting per week. All right. So I thought 100k per week was a bit too much, actually. So, yeah, we would get 100k per year. So that's going to divide it up to the weeks. Okay. Hmm, this is interesting. Huh. Yeah, I have a lot more GDP. Can I see what things France has in his market? That's the population French market. Can I access this? Okay, I can. Um, let's see. They yeah, they don't have any dyes. That's unfortunate. They don't have that much wood. That's what she said. <laughs> but mainly they have iron. France's population is pretty decent. Right, yeah, let's, I'm gonna switch to the French market, fuck it. And let's go for iron frame buildings as well then. Now, cultural exclusion. This is also going to increase our uh, migration as well. Their standard of living did go up when we switched to the French market. It's just I think the French have a really high uh, standard of living as well. That's another factor why I'm not getting as much migration anymore. Actually, oh nice, we got it right now. Okay, are we getting migration now? Attraction is really high. Oh, yes, we're getting migration. Migrants from LSS, right? I would switch over to the Great Ching market. <laughs> Have all of those people with from the low uh, standard of living areas just pouring into my country. In the land of China, people hardly got nothing at all. Are we getting... We're not getting as high... Okay, I'm tempted to switch back to the Russian market. We're, we're getting a lot more uh, immigrants from uh, Russia. If you look at the Russian standard of living, they want to come to live in my territory more. I think I'm going to leave the French uh, customs union. Okay. He chose poorly. I'm losing a lot of money now. Ah, uh, take me back. Oh my god, I lost a lot of... Uh... Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I might have screwed myself actually. We are going to import all of the resources we need. I really screwed myself. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have left the Russian one. Please, just <laughs> somebody take me back. I don't, I don't have any income tax. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what, what I pick here. Uh, please. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That was fucking close. That was, that was stressful as fuck. Oh. So migration works like... Uh, works... Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so migration works um, in markets. And when you have like a uh, migration event, I think that's the only way to get people from other markets into yours, I guess. Yeah, I think I can get another construction sector now. The year is 1851 and we can finally get the second construction sector. Oh. We just lost a bit of our investment pool, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's uh, 2k. I think that's because their uh, cash reserves aren't full. Uh, you can see the uh, uh, investment pool here. So if, if the investment pool here runs out, then uh, we screwed. I can't delete these as well because I have a revolution going on. That sucks. Uh, what's the investment pool? Okay, we're taking 8k and uh putting in 3k from it oh my god what the fuck happened here and halt is free they got berlin <laughs> oh no prussia i've noticed that austria is pretty powerful with this uh ai mod they have a really strong economy at the start so that that also helps them out okay that's nice uh let's now go for uh poor social security laws how's my investment pool looking still pretty dry it's my GDP level. Actually pretty high by GDP, <laughs> considering. What's Sweden's GDP looking like? Eight, eight million. Yeah, I have four million. Russia has 90. Oh my, Russia's just getting destroyed. What, what was, the, what were the war goals in this? Puppet. I, okay, I think, <laughs> I think, um, Russia's gonna puppet Prussia. Oh uh, no, that's, that's, um, Okay, I think uh, we're all gonna be speaking Russian pretty soon. 
Ruski mirri, yes. Oh no. <laughs> they have a 3D port there as well. <laughs> okay, we finished sports. Let's go for uh, realism now. Still, I still need more prestige. Still, I can have, cannot achieve higher rank than major power. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It, it, the thing we want is a, uh, a regional power. Just need to get my uh, standard of living up, but it's really hard to do it do in the Russian market. We have all the basics met. Yeah, okay, our welfare payments are increasing. <laughs> I'm still, I still don't have a military. Actually, building a military might give me some prestige. Let me build a few barracks. Oh no, I think uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to uh, colonize this area there. Oh, do I even have enough time to start colonizing? Ah, okay, so I can increase my prestige by making my army better. So using skirmish infantry, artillery, stuff like that. Ah, oh, they're migrating to the west, I guess. There's always some problem. <laughs> okay, I'm getting migration again, but just... My, all of my other attempts have gone extremely well. I've been like the number one standard of living in the world. I think it's just because I'm in the Russian market or something. No. No fucking way. He's actually annexing Prussia. Oh man. Oh. I rip. Hey, knock it off. There's a kid back there. <laughs> I'm in danger. Is it actually happening? <laughs> Let's see when this changes. Prussia has no support whatsoever. <laughs> oh no, fucking Ruskimir. Uh, what's uh, Russia's... Okay, deleted a few of the uh, garrisons or the barracks, I think. Uh, this just looks cursed. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. The Russian market really needs tools. Oh, migration is pretty good. Oh no, we re <laughs> reached the modern day Estonian population. Alright, uh, we have shift work. Dominion the Netherlands. Oh, the Netherlands is a puppet to the UK. I said Dominion of the UK. Tempted to get right of assembly. Actually, total separation. Let's see how this affects these guys. Are they gonna... Okay, they're not gaining any popularity. I think I'm a bit too late for this place. Just... But, <sighs> let's just go for the Molokas. Fine. Uh, finally, we can colonize. I can declare one more interest. Oh no, this is just the one. Oh, 150 days as well. Okay, yeah, it's just a one interest area. Oh, nice, we have total separation. So, uh, the religious people's influence is higher than I thought it would be. It would be going down now. Yeah, I'm nothing else that's giving them a boost. Uh, except a political operator. These guys have a... Okay, uh, let's start to go for a uh, liberal government. Let's go for right of assembly. I think democracies also give more uh, migration attraction as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. How about going on to steel frame buildings? How much is that gonna cost? Hmm. Ah, oh, no, fucking check the Ripper again. That we just had that guy. Could go for a parliamentary republic. It's gonna. Piss off the landowners a lot. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go for a republic. Maybe that's gonna get rid of the, uh, the turmoil. Trial of the Duke Leonard. Alright, now we're a parliamentary republic. And let's go for a universal suffrage as well then. That's gonna get rid of the turmoil though. Oh, nice. Okay, that's gonna get, get rid of the radicals as well. Alright, that's good. So, Kalin has coal. I could. This is done. Change my interest into uh, Sakhalin. Oh, I can see the un unemployment here. Okay, so we have really insignificant unemployment. So if you look at Saint Petersburg, they have insignificant as well. Check China, maybe. This is insignificant as well. Or insignificant, sorry. I wonder what China's uh, GDP is looking like. All right, uh, colonial civilization mission. I want better colonialism. Oh no, Austria. Oh damn, oh well. There's not many places left to colonize. There are 2 million people, 1.7 are Estonian, 47k are Finns. Most of uh, the immigrants that are coming are getting converted straight away to Estonian. That's, uh, th that's nice. 
Actually, haven't looked at the market for a pretty long time. Uh, need sugar and opium. Okay, I'm gonna do this because I really need this place. Ah, oh, that's gonna take 400 days. Oh. Estonia has successfully maintained a republican form of government for many years now. There are few who still remember the old monarchy with any fonders. Fondness. <laughs> Can't read. Do I have the... I have the lowest population in the top 14. Actually, wait. Uh, I have the lowest... Oh, no, I know. Actually, don't. Netherlands has a smaller one. Oh my god, our investment pool is so big. But I, I just don't have the income to utilize it. Actually, uh, let's, let's actually try it. Let's make uh, six. Uh, what's our... Alright, yeah, okay. Could get more, but I don't want to risk it that bad. Oh, what is this? Radical Russia. Honest, I could make a move, but I don't think I would uh, survive if I tried. France is going after Algeria and the Great Qing is supporting it. Uh... I don't think my prospects of expanding are that uh, big. Coal is expensive. All oh, right, the Russian market's fucked. Right. Uh, that A is not good. Incorporate this guy and this guy. We don't have any dynamite. I would join, but the UK... Uh, look how big the British market actually is. I'm going to change to the British market, I think. Because they have India, which has a lot of pop. He chose poorly. Right. Let's see what what's what's happening now. I'm losing a bit of money. That's because the investment pool went away. That's the my group. Oh my god, 200k! Oh, okay. I should have done this sooner, actually. And uh, Russia, um, Russia's not too happy. Who are we getting? So, uh. Holland, South Bengal. Yes, a lot of East Asian people are coming now. <gasps> Prussia's free. Uh, <laughs> I don't, they don't have this. Uh, they don't have Poson, but it's it's actually it actually looks cooler. So what's my interest interest looking like? Only only 4k. And it's okay. Okay, our standard of living should go up because I'm, I have so many like things that protect the workers. That's uh, what's our. Uh, Welfare payment, so it's not bad. Uh, it's not that big at all. I don't have. Why don't I have anything at all of a sudden? What the fuck? Did the UK kick? How oh, the UK kick me out? Fuck. No, I'm still in the UK customs union. What the frick is going on? Is my market taxes fucked? You have. I have 1% access to the British market. I have no access. Um, okay, that's... Uh, is it a bug? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much screwed. I don't know why I don't have any market access. I don't know if the no market taxes thing was a bug or not, but it definitely ruined the run. I did try to salvage the situation a few days later and I managed to save it, but I had to become a protectorate of Russia. I was wrong about not being able to become independent before because I am able to launch an ind independence play now. I guess it was something to do with the GDP or something. Uh, so if this video gets 200 likes, I will continue this save. I also want to thank all of you who have subscribed this past week. This month has been amazing for the channel and I will keep making content. Thank you all.